What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We have a very special project for you here in a beautiful scenic location. We're right here on the riverfront and we're building a beautiful deck and patio combination. And in this video series, we're gonna really go into the details. So this will be our most in-depth series to date. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. We are starting off with a beautiful blank slate here and you can see how they have those sliding glass doors across the whole back of the house. We want to maximize that flow so we have an upper deck coming off the left side leading down to a bigger lower deck with some entertainment space and then that leads down to the patio and we have a really cool crosshatch pattern in the patio picked up on the deck all to maximize that river view. So. First step here is laying out all of our footings. Goliath Tech will be here in a couple minutes to start installing our helical piles. And in this video, we're gonna cover the layout, installation of those helical piles, and our ledger layout. And we're gonna get into the details here. So starting with layout. All right, so our upper deck is 14 feet wide. It's coming out eight feet, and then it has a little section on the outside of that that's gonna have stairs that lead down to the lower deck. So our first row of footings are seven feet out from the house. There's gonna be three of them. So what we do, measure out, make two marks at seven feet, we're on a string line, continue that so we make sure we're nice and straight, seven feet off the house, then we can mark out the layout for those three footings. So because this deck here is gonna cantilever, we can set these in about a foot and a half on each side. We just have to be really close, we don't have to be absolutely perfect on this. We mark our two ends, then we just measure to the center, make that center mark, that's where the third footing will go. First set of footings on our lower deck is coming out 11 feet, so we'll make those two marks. We'll run a string line, and that'll be our reference line. We can measure the exact location off of that. All right, now we're ready to do our second row of beams on this lower deck, and that's gonna be 10 feet out from this first row of footings. I'm gonna pull a reference line for this second row of beams because we're getting further away from the house and we do have some flexibility with that cantilever, but we don't have all the flexibility in the world. So just wanna double check, make sure that we're still within that tolerance. We got this big collapsible square. Link in description, you can get this on our Amazon store. We love this thing. We're gonna put that up against the house. Grab my string line. Catherine, you're gonna have to film and hold this at the same time. Okay. So we just pull that line, so it's coming square off of this, which is square off of the house, and it might not be absolutely perfect, but we're gonna be using the house as a reference anyway, so we wanna go off of whatever that is. So I'm gonna spray this out. This will be our reference line. We're like eight inches off, so not a huge deal. That's still within the realm of flexibility, two feet for your cantilever, but we wanna do it as the plans say, which is a foot and a half. So these are our last two footings right here. We could just pull off of that reference line that we pulled. These are gonna be right at the corner of the front of our landing. We have an eight foot deck that comes to here and then comes across, comes out four feet. Stairs go down this way. So these two had to be pretty dang close. And just like that, Goliath Tech's here, ready to install these piles. All right, so we're back on site now. We have all of our Goliath Tech helical piles installed. We're about to start framing, but from here on out, Tony, we're gonna let Tony do a little POV action. He's gonna walk you through what's going through this man's beautiful this mind. mind on this one. So he's gonna have the GoPro. He's gonna walk you through the whole thing and um, just really gonna be some insightful stuff. Stay tuned. Yep. I'll teach you guys how to build a deck. What's everybody? Oh. Where'd you get that number? What's up everybody, welcome back. We are framing 
Who doesn't love framing day? I'll show you what we got going on to get started. Stay tuned. As you can see, I got my ledger up behind me. Tom and Jose are working on getting these helical piles leveled out so they can start cutting six buys to set our beam. I'll show you some things I like to do on my ledger. So I got my ledger set. It's about 14 feet. We're going with a two by 10 ledger with two by 10 joists. We're going 12 inch on center. I like to lay out my ledger. See, I have my two lines. What this does is allows me to move on to something else and Tom and Jose are gonna know exactly where the joists go. Standard practice we do, we have our first joist, flat blocking to pick up our perimeter board, which we're doing a double border, and then starts our first joist and then 12 inches on center. Also, our ledger lock layout with our ledger to beam span calls for it to be around 13 inches every lag. So with the joist laid out like this, if you just go in the center, up and down, you're gonna be in that 13 inches and we'll be good to go. Oh, Hello, hey Sean, hey. what are you working on? I'm just setting our laser up, there you go. A lot of beeping going on. Yep. We reset our laser, brought it up a little bit higher so that we can get a, uh, a reference point off of this ledger. And it looks like we are right at 11 and a quarter. See that? So now, to just get it kind of close with this. Check out that view. It's gonna be fun working here. So here we're at five foot eight. Okay. So we had 11 and a quarter. Yep. Five foot eight. Five foot eight is what? Um, 68. Still shorter than me. Yeah. So we got 68 minus 11 and a quarter. So 56 and three quarter is our difference in height. Okay. Now we're trying to figure out our six by height. So we need to deduct our decking. Well, no, not our decking because we're going off of framing. So just 19, so just 19 for our joist yep. and our beam. What are you doing? 37 and three quarter. Three I'm three filming you. <laughs> you filming me? Filming it, section. So once all these are set at the same height, yep. 37, 37 three and three quarters is gonna be your six by height. Perfect. That's how you do it. Once we get those heights established with our laser level, then we can cut those six by sixes and we adjust the Gladtech helical pile so they're all the same height. Therefore, our six bys can all be cut at the same height, making it a little bit easier. These had to be 37 and three quarters, so we got that figured out. And then our beam is just gonna sit right on top of that and we'll attach the two together with a scab two by six bolted into both sides. So on this upper deck, you pretty much see the shape of it. We have this little four foot extension, which is really gonna be for a set of stairs running here to this lower deck. I like to run my end joist first, make sure they're square, lets me plumb up all my posts and my beams. And then this stair one, I doubled up this is going to be the rim for the smaller deck and then this is going to continue out they're running parallel that's running parallel deck's pretty square pretty much at this point we're just going to fill in with joists lower deck ledger set we're ready to go in no time Now we're on to the lower deck and we're just going to repeat that same process. We're going to assess our ledger height, then we're going to use the laser to determine our footing height, lay the beams right on top of it because it's a low deck, and then we just run our joists, fill it in from there. Well, Day thanks one. for all that insight, Anthony. I learned so much watching this video about how to frame and <laughs> how, how to, to lay it out. out. Yeah. Right? I did my best. I feel like I could almost do it on my own now because of all those helpful tips. Man, and you ran a company this long? I know. <laughs> and I didn't have this video to watch, so thank you so much. Watch. Learn. I'm going to learn so much. And you can see we have a lot of this deck framed out. So in the next video, we're going to go over all the framing details for some crazy inlays, all kinds of really cool stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living. <laughs>